We can learn a lot from the best players in the world, especially when it comes to the serve. And the power of modeling and understanding what the pros do can help you serve your best. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And in today's video, we are going to watch one of the best servers in the world, Milos Raonic. And this guy from Canada has an absolute bazooka and technically he's very sound as well. And what I wanna do is break down his serve step by step, show you what I really like about the serve and give you some tips on how you can go out and focus on the right things. Because what I've found over the years is that players aren't focusing on the right things. They're focusing on the wrong things when it comes to the serve. So let's get into breaking down Rayonich serve right now. Okay, so we've got some footage here from the Australian Open. And the first thing I want you to see, what I want you to notice is the stance. You'll notice that he is beginning the motion on the back leg. I call this the Sampras stance. Sampras like to start on his back leg with the weight on his back leg. Federer likes to start on his front foot. So I personally, when I played on the tour, uh, a serve that I modeled more after Pete Sampras, I got to top 100 in the world studying under John Yandel, who was my serve guru, and I started on my back leg. I had my weight on my back leg like Rayonich. Now, as the serve begins, I want you to notice what happens when the ball is released. This is a big checkpoint in the serve that I really look look at, and look at where his look at where his uh, arm is. His hand is uh, just below chest level, and his tossing arm is, of course, uh, above his head, and or just right at the top of his head. A lot of players, when they go down together, up together, they get the hands going at the same time, and they go to the same height the same time. We don't want that. We want what I call a delayed hand. So you can see how his hand is, his dominant hand is below his tossing hand. Very important. He's in a nice platform stance. Now, as the ball goes up, I also want you to notice, look at when he bends his knees. This is something that I teach. You want to bend your knees early in the motion. A lot of players toss the ball. They keep their legs straight. Then they bend their knees and the toss gets too high. Okay, this, the next thing I want you to notice is how quickly he finds what I call the 90 degree position. Look at that magic position right there. His dominant arm, the lower arm and the upper arm, looks like it's at a 90 degree angle right here. This is huge. Most players don't find this angle, okay? So he's getting ready to push off of both legs. He's in this 90 degree angle. The tossing arm is straight, and then notice how far out in front the toss is. It's out in front of the court. I see a lot of players, when they make contact, the ball is behind their body. So you can see how this ball and the racket at contact is, is in front of his body here. If you draw a straight line down, it's in front of his body. So I'm loving this 90 degree angle. I'm loving great racket drop. He's got incredible flexibility in his thoracic spine and his mid back. You can't really see it from this angle, but with that racket drop, he definitely has it. When he makes contact, you can see he's pretty upright. His legs are pretty straight. He's off the ground. Look at that pronation. Amazing pronation there. Okay, and then he finishes down into his body with his finish. He comes towards his left quad towards his belly and notice the landing here he lands on his front foot he kicks this leg back for balance and then he brings this foot forward afterwards and has amazing balance so again a lot of good things happening here and these are the steps that i want to break down for you he gets in a platform stance he starts on his back foot that's checkpoint number one when he releases the ball he shifts more towards his front foot but he still has uh, weight on the back leg, but step checkpoint number two is this delayed arm below the tossing uh, tossing arm. The tossing arm leads. Okay, that's checkpoint number two. Checkpoint number three, a trophy position. Look at this 90 degree angle. Okay, checkpoint number four, the toss is well into the court in front of his body. Checkpoint number five, look at the pronation, that rotation of the shoulder. And checkpoint number six, the balance landing with the hand finishing 
towards his left quad there and landing on his front foot and kicking this leg back. All right, so that's a great six step formula. These are the things that you want to be practicing. You want to video your serve and you want to see if you're matched up like the pros and you want to try to match them as much as you can to develop this amazing serve. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment or question below and share this video with others. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you turn on your notifications. And before you go, I've got a free gift to offer you. We've got a Tennis Evolution app. It's absolutely free. You can download it. And inside the app, you're gonna, going to get access to a free instructional course, a course that has lessons on the serve, the forehand, footwork, single strategy and double strategy. It's all inside the app and it's absolutely free. You can click the link in the description or somewhere in this video and we will get you hooked up. We'll get you playing your best tennis ever. We're committed at Tennis Evolution to helping you take that next step and we'd love for you to continue to join us and tune in. So we will see you at the next lesson. Thanks for your time.